Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So, I figured I would film this because there's a chance I might burn the house down, to be honest. So, if I do, at least I'll have it on video. As you can probably see by this sofa beside me, I'm going to be attempting to bake a cake today. And I love baking cakes, honestly, I really, really do, but I really struggle at it at the best of times. So, that's why I figured I'd film it. So, this recipe is one that I've seen on Zoella's Instagram and one that I believe, um, <clears throat> Jane's Patisserie done for her, so I don't exactly know the creator, it may be Jane's Patisserie, um, I don't know, but anyway, it's the Lotus Biscoff Cake, I believe it is, just sort of a standard sort of vanilla cake with uh, Biscoff icing, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, so let's get this one going. So first of all, I can see that the first step is to do the sugar, obviously, and the butter. So, I already have the butter already sized. So, from the measurements that um, Zoe has on her Instagram, it is 250 grams, which is what this pack is. And this has been sat out sort of for a little bit. Actually, it was in my shopping bag while I was doing a like four kilometer round trip to go and find some icing sugar because I didn't have it. We normally go to a store called Ping Dos, which is really close to us, but they didn't have any icing sugar there, either that or it was sold out. So I ended up having to do like a, like I said, four kilometer round trip just to get icing sugar because of course I can make any cake, but like it's not gonna be the same if I don't have the icing sugar. Like I can't make the cake without icing sugar. So that's the 250 grams of butter. Now I believe it is how many grams of sugar? 250 grams and I have one kilo here. That's better, you can see me now. You can't see really what I'm doing, but anyway. 250 grams of sugar. Now, I need to unplug my phone because it's dead. I'm plugging the blender, so. Excuse the mess done there, obviously. So let's. <laughs> So the next step, I'm just going to use my mug. I'd never like to open eggs like directly into something. Like, yes, I've just bought these, but you never know. So that's one egg. So they all go in at the same time. Nice. Two, three, fourth one. Okay, so I did have to do a brief interval there because I thought that I had ruined the cake. I forgot to put the flour in. So when I was putting in the egg, I was supposed to put the flour in at the same time. This isn't Joel, this is Joel's brother. I do now have a cake mixture and it honestly looks incredible. That mixture now needs to go into two already pre-lined tins, so. Okay, so we are getting somewhere now, very slowly. So we now have two of these and these are gonna go into the oven, which I have preheated. So. I'll be back when I'm gonna do the buttercream, which will be once I've done the washing up. Okay, so cakes are out of the oven and we're about to have lunch just while they're cooling down and then after lunch, what I'll do is I'll go in and then do the buttercream. Like I said, they just need to cool down, obviously. Yeah, basically, this is what they look like. This is what I mean. So basically, this one has a massive hole on it and then this one, this one was fine. It's just when I tipped it over, um, using another plate, the top of this one got stuck to the plate. Um, and also there's going to be like a hole somewhere here basically this side is lower and then this side is lower so I'm going to try and balance it out and then hopefully the buttercream will fix everything so we're going to eat and then we'll catch back up with you again in just a bit two hours later okay so lunch is done and now it's time to do the buttercream so I'm going to put you here I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. Okay, so basically, I have my tray with my cake, and it's nothing special, obviously. I'm just hoping that I can salvage it with some buttercream. So, you need... I mean, everyone knows how to make buttercream. It's double the sugar than the butter. So, I've got 250 grams of butter. I then have 500 grams of icing sugar. And then I have... A little cup of milk and of course I'm going to do like a spoonful of this so let me go get a spoon quickly. Let's do this. So butter is in and now, well 
yeah, I'm gonna beat the butter for five minutes, maybe, so let's do this. <laughs> So that is this done. Now it is time to add the icing sugar. So I'm basically just gonna add it one box at a time because you're normally supposed to like half and half. So. If this cake was not like having the best off, this buttercream would be amazing. So. I did just finish it off because again I got freaked out and I thought oh my god I'm gonna ruin the cake so now I am going to oh this is always the most satisfying part I need a knife oh, don't ask me why see I'm just gonna put a spoonful of this in now you're dirty there you go better the buttercream is now done so let's get into icing this cake it's time to pipe I was hoping this one would be bigger this is the biggest one there is I just want to do like blobs Okay, so it's done. You can kind of see it in the corner. I'm so proud, honestly, you have absolutely no idea. I, when these came out of the oven, I was like, okay, try not to be too hopeful. But even down to the buttercream, I cannot wait to taste this, however, I'm going to wait until Joelle gets home so we can both try it together um, because I don't want to cut into this and then the masterpiece be ruined. Um, I think it might be a little bit lopsided but I mean it kind of adds to it, don't you think? Don't get me wrong, the piping is kind of atrocious but let me give you a close up. Like this little guy here isn't looking too good for himself but like it's so so cool and yeah it is a little bit lopsided but I made it and I didn't burn the house down so that is gonna end this video hey guys so excuse the random cut away I'm sorry I didn't realize that my camera cut out in the middle of filming that last clip so so just to wrap up this video um basically the cake went down a storm didn't look very pretty but it tasted amazing it tasted absolutely incredible that buttercream is just something else so I think I'm going to try and make another one. Um, we've had a few of our friends try it, as well as obviously us, Shua's mum and Shua's brother. We all love it. It's really nice. So, big thumbs up. If you did enjoy this video, do smash this video a huge thumbs up as well, just so you did enjoy it. And so I know to film more of this type of content in the future. Um, I don't know what I would do, but I mean, we'll figure something out. So again, please smash a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.